good morning uh, it's our second day over here and yesterday we couldn't make it to the safari because we were taking delivery of the bike and uh, we got a little late and the uh, time limit was actually three o'clock in the afternoon uh, but we were busy so we couldn't make it in time so today we'll be going for the safari in a bit so we just got up in the morning that's twinkle she just got up and she's getting ready so i'm in the balcony and this is what the day in kaziranga looks like all forest behind me and this is not a part of the main park but then it's there yeah so i'll get ready i'll freshen up and then let's go for the safari so right now we have just booked our tickets for a jeep safari and then we'll be heading off so the ticket booking is going on that side that's the counter and then you can see there's a lot and a lot of jeeps over here lots of jeeps over here so this is kind of a place from where you start and then we have twinkle over here and glory they're doing some photo session we're all going to the jeep safari so up next is the safari coming up stay tuned so uh, we have entered the uh, forest premises and right now i'm standing on a gypsy as you can see <laughs> and i'm wearing the mask because there's a lot of dust here so these guys are coming back throwing a lot of dust Those are the grasslands. Two elephants over there on the side. And this is Glory blocking my vision. There's a beautiful bunch of deers. I think these are hog deers. Hog deer. Oh. Swamp, no? Okay, so these are swamp deers. Swamp deers over here, very close to the road where we are. So th this is the road, and these are the deers. So this is a hog deer on the right. A few more of them are there. I don't mind my camera shaking so much because the uh, car is actually shaking a bit. So these are swamp lands. So this is a tower which shows the flood levels in the past. So 2020 is at the lowest. 2019 is above, and 1988 had the worst flood, highest level. these are the kind of bridges that you got across so this is a mihi lake as they call it this lake on both sides beautiful place and then uh, there's some deers and rhino over there on that side getting down from the jeep but i meant to show you this if you look at this there's two beautiful rhinoceros one over there and one on the left and a bunch of deers now you can't make out exactly what deers these are but then there are a few deers lots of deers over there and two big rhinoceros must be a couple so if you can see very close to us are dora and those rhinos over there one over there one that side beautiful rhinos just see these trees over there playing so beautifully all red flowers beautiful and straight but on both sides of the road and twinkle is trying to mock me for the things i'm saying <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
right now we have completed uh, around uh, half of our journey. We've seen some amazing animals, some rhinos with babies, hog deers, uh, swamp deers, and whatnot. Taking some footage, but most of most of the things we couldn't take because those were too far off, and our mobile phone wouldn't have uh, been able to capture it. So yeah, uh, we're heading off to the another half. There's a rhino right over there, very close to us. He's looking at us right now. And next to him are some buffaloes. These are the deeper parts of the jungle. As you can see, the jungle is getting thicker. More trees you can't see uh, inside. It's getting thicker and thicker, older trees. But we've got a nice trail. So, uh, movement isn't an issue, but road isn't that good, so my camera is shaking a lot. This is a new animal in Kajiranga. <laughs> that animal is called Kankan Bai. So we have come into another area. Now this one has a lot of trees, but then there's no uh, dense forest over here, at least on this side. This side has though. Uh, so we can see for some distance. Beautiful. That's a wild boar over there and we're seeing it from over here. He is coming very slowly towards our direction. But then I think he'll go inside the forest. We're not supposed to go that side actually. We're supposed to go on this road. So we had to come back. Uh, as long as we could, we tried spotting him. So right now I'm going to show you the best, best thing that I've seen on this trip so far. There's a very beautiful tusker over there. If you notice it nicely, there's a beautiful tusker, massive tusker over there. I don't know if he's a departmental elephant or he's a wild elephant, but he is absolutely fabulous. Beautiful elephant over there. A little far though, but he's beautiful and big. Wow, this is the best thing I've seen today. Seeing all the other animals that we saw is a different thing, and seeing an elephant that to an Asian elephant of that size, that bloody tusker is too big. It's a different feel altogether. I'll be scared to go anywhere near that guy. He's so damn big, but then seeing him from a distance, he looks like a like a proper monument, a beautiful monument. Is that beautiful? Wow! This is the kind of feel that we want when we come to Kaziranga, and that's why we're here. These guys are having a blast of a time, <laughs> taking a lot of pictures and having, you know, their fun. But for me, I'm more uh, kind of a scenic guy. I like to capture sceneries and stuff. So. That's the best thing I saw today, the Tusker. He's beautiful. This is something I want to show you. It's a beautiful, beautiful rhinoceros. Beautiful shine on his body. He's just taken a bath and he's coming straight towards us. I know that's a bit risky and we're on an open field with that rhino. So we got to maintain some distance, but he's too beautiful to avoid. Wow, look at that thing. He's massive, massive. Oh, he's turning back now. Okay. He's turning back. He's coming closer and closer, this guy. Pretty close this guy is.
has another very beautiful beautiful rhino just next to the road just see this is the road and that's the rhino over there so close Eagle nest over here. That's the parents on both the branches and the kids over there. They're so huge these birds. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So we have just now checked out of our hotel, I mean the resort. And we'll make our way for some lunch right now. We'll grab some lunch and then we'll head off to Guwahati. Now for me, uh, I'll be driving the car for some time. Maybe I might uh, come down and join you guys for a motor vlog, short one. But for now, uh, Rihan will be riding the bike. So I'll just show him. That's Rihan, and I'll show the bike. That's the machine we bought. The entire trip was fruitful. Now let's go grab some lunch, and then we'll head off to Guwahati. I'll see you in the GoPro. So we have just had our lunch over here at this beautiful place called uh, Pelican Thaba and he is the owner What is your name? Luhit Gugoy Luhit Gugoy And you can see our channel? Yes, I can see it I can see it I can see it So I can see our channel and that's a very good thing for us and I'm very honoured that we have to respect each other and we got it over here and if you visit Kajiranga, make sure to come to this restaurant called Pelican Dhaba. It's just after the Kohara range and they've served very good food, very good rates. Come over here, we had our lunch and we enjoyed a lot. So, now we'll slowly shift to GoPro. And what do you think of return journey? It's very nice. 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 खुखेरे कोई पहले ठाकुर के कोटा पास मने। Thank you, thank you so much for your blessing। जाने दे happy है बोला के। Yes, journey has to be good, definitely। Thank you so much जरा। Work करने। इधर हमें will shift to GoPro and Rihan is riding the bike, so the rest he'll be taking it from here on the GoPro। Bye bye guys। Be safety, be safety। Yes, be safe। हाँ। Hello, check check, this is the testing of mic for the ride ahead। Cam position seems good right now. So this is going to be the camera position, seems fine.